Jason, man, he gone. He ain't leave nothing. It's just me and you, look. All the way up there. All right, guys, so as you can see, Roscoe has left the shop. It's not a bad way, though, guys. He did open his own shop. It's about 30 minutes from us, so I'm in Kentucky. I'm in Owensboro, and then he is 30 minutes south of us between us and Bowling Green towards Nashville. So, guys, we're actually going to head to his shop, check out the shop. Opening day is tomorrow. I talked to him about doing a test run the day before, and in my first location, I did a test run, and I ended up not being able to see. So I had to adjust the lighting a little bit before I opened. But basically, when I go out there, he's going to just clean me up on the sides, kind of give it a test run in this chair and make sure everything's good. So uh, let's hop in the Beamer and head that way. I don't know why they make cars this fast. But anyway, guys, we got a 30 minute drive out there. He asked me to pick up. He had left his Babyliss Shaver charger on his station. Uh, he asked to borrow a booster seat because he didn't have one uh, or his hasn't come in yet. So he asked if he could borrow a booster seat. Of course, I got him. Uh, so we got a 30 minute drive. We'll pop in the shop as soon as we get there, get a little cleanup, talk to him about his new shop. So anyway, let's get there and we'll check it out. he didn't get the window decals done in time i hope they're gonna come this week man that's a bummer by the way the name is roscoe's barbershop he's gonna do roscoe's barbershop on the windows and then just the r logo on the middle door with the hours uh barber pole looks sharp though but you guys can see it's raining so this is close we're gonna get out here and we'll go ahead and head in and check out the inside all right guys this is it i believe this is roscoe's chair he's about to cut my hair you guys can see he had a bigger tool chest these are the same chairs that we use he went with the double bar lights, part-timer. I caught him off guard, he had to clean up. You guys can see the shop though. So this is his side, shampoo bar right there. Nice little waiting area and a TV, ATM. I think, what are you gonna do? Display or something on that little shelf? Yeah, like you gotta put it to display. Oh, you're gonna do a logo? Yeah, a logo. ATM, we'll go back there in a second. Little waiting area, he's gonna do a local, basically uh, the local high school logo on the left wall, the actual Eagle logo, and then on this wall, the OC, which is Ohio County. That's the school we just passed on the way in. And then here's chair number two. I told him I'm my guest spot, but ain't nobody gonna pay me $40. So I'll just, I'll just chill and watch him cut here. But yeah, spot number two, he has a guy coming, I think in a couple months, little, uh, little mirror to check yourself out on the way out. He said the windows will be done tomorrow morning by the time he opens. And you guys see these signs. These are going outside. Let's see if you can see it from here. Yeah, so those will go outside on the street sign. So anyway, he about to clean me up. I don't guess there's much back there we need to see. That's just a little lounge room. I think he's gonna turn it into. I would imagine it's full of crap right now. Uh, and then behind this wall is a break room kind of with a little sink and uh, fridge and whatnot and the bathroom in the back. So anyway, that's it. Looks good. Came together quick. You spent like a month. Yeah, about a month. So a lot quicker than... Uh, exactly. Yeah, he just basically, he gutted it, put new floors in. Last time I was here, the floor was over about halfway. Uh, painted everything, of course. Put the shampoo ball in. Obviously got the equipment and the chairs and all that. But you can see he's got plenty of room to grow. I told him he could put two on this wall. One, two, three, four, five over there, maybe. Um, so I don't know. I don't think he has that big of a plan. But two for now, probably three, I guess. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I might come over here and hang out one day and cut some hair. But anyway, let's hop in the chair and get a cut. Well, 
to that. So you just hop on the for them. Yeah. But then, uh, you know, I, I was looking at places to, to ride, looking at uh, moving up to Owensboro, and I had to save up, you know, quite a bit of money for I was going to put a down payment on a home. To move there. To move there, that, yes. Then, I ran, uh, then I just, I, I ran across a rental property that, that wasn't this one. It was another location. And I, I, uh, I inquired about it, you know what I mean? They said it was already, already had already been, uh, been out. So, uh, so she showed me this one. And then, uh, I just, I, I thought, man, you know, one, one thing I could do is just use all my money that I saved up that I was going to buy a house with and just put it into a shop by the chair, by the line. You already were living here, so. And I was already living here, so I was thinking I could do that. And I had so many people commuting up to Owensboro for me to cut their hair. But yeah, it did. That's what I'm about. It's not going to hurt us, but there's definitely a flow that's coming in looking for you. Yeah. Like, every day. Once I convinced myself, see, I signed, I signed the lease on the first of this month. So, and then, but when I, when I made the decision to do it, no, I was full on, no, no looking back, getting like I was going to get it done. You know, I think the hardest part was probably just coming up here, you know, after work every day and just putting in the, the time. Like he said after work, everybody, but he would leave. He would leave the floor every day. But no, that is, that is the hardest part. Because you, I mean, depending on how you want to do it, yeah, if you got 50 grand sitting comfortably, you just stop working and go do it. But, you know, most of us have to keep working either a different job before we get, you know, the shop done or at another shop, whatever it is. So I hope the people don't aren't too scared of the prices around this area. It's a really, it's a rural area where the highest haircut in this, in the, in the, in the uh, county is $15. You know what I mean? So I'm coming in, a new barber, I was, I was, you know what I mean? The first yeah. barber shop to the area is charging $10 more than the highest cut. It's a, uh, that's what I'm most worried about. I'm, you know I mean? I know that it's worth that, but it's like, and that's something we talk about the a lot. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I think I think I would rather I would rather do that and go through a little bit of a, a proving yourself period yeah. than to sell yourself short. And because it's almost like if you were to come out here at twenty tomorrow and get all those people at twenty, yeah. maybe later when you go to twenty five they stop coming. But would you rather lose them or or start off with that? Like, look, my hair is twenty five. This is what it's worth. You know what I mean? The, the, those people might end up like, oh, he's going up. I never heard no barber raising their prices and stop coming. Yeah, that's good. I don't think you're going to have an issue. All right, y'all, that's the video. I was going to have Russell do the outro, but every time I try to do that, everybody says, uh, 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 what was I supposed to say? So anyway, you guys check out his Instagram. Roscoe the Barber? Yep, Roscoe the Barber. Yeah, so you guys check out his Instagram. Go over there, show him some love. Look out for what he's doing here. And uh, we're going to stay in touch. I don't know if he's going to pop into the... He said he's going to book a haircut on me. So I might do another video on him here soon once his hair goes back. So you told me you wanted to see more stuff like this. If this is what you were talking about, then let me know. And I will keep doing more stuff like this. Hopefully I don't have a bunch of other guys open other shops. But you guys said you wanted to see my other guys. So I will do more of that if you liked it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of the shop. Make sure you guys subscribe. I do have... I really mean it this time. I have so many more video ideas coming and I'm going to get on them soon. So you guys subscribe and you can see all that content when it drops. He won't catch you next time. I'll catch you next time. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I just think that... Uh, I think I think Ohio County is going to have just another option here. You know what I mean? With this shop. Well, and that's, you know, kind of when we talked about pricing. It's like, you got... There are cheap old... old options that everybody's been going to for years and that's what we did you know at first obviously you already got people coming up here trying to like I mean, you got the mortar right you know like they're already trying to set it up so you're gonna have some but just like we do like there's still some people that like no nah, i go to Emory, man that's where i've been going for 50 years yeah. like all right awesome so I mean, you're gonna have some of that so it just takes a while and every once in a while one of those people decides to check it out you know what I mean? Like one of their homies they work with or something comes in and they're like, oh, that's a haircut. Yeah. 
And, and you know what? Maybe I need to try. Maybe I need to go over and try it out. Man. I, you know, I always said I wasn't going to. And then that's, they just finally will one day. So I need to one shot. That's why I'm so adamant about like being there. Like be there, and you know, if somebody comes in and comes to you, like you got one shot. If you're in a bad mood, you're not you're not talking to them, or you like throwing. Around because you're grumpy or you're late or you're talking on the phone the whole time or whatever the thing is, like they might be like, I finally tried it out and like that wasn't it. And so that's why I'm so big on like not only like physically being at the shop to get that person when they finally do come, but you know, making sure they all you gotta do is give them an experience that was better than the last place. You know you're gonna put their hair back.